who are not being paid, Mr. Speaker, at the expense of a few rogue lawyers and especially senior people in the profession who, Mr. Speaker, will raise ridiculous fee notes for work uh, that is not commensurate to that uh, payment. So that, Mr. Speaker, we need to isolate those cases where we believe work was genuinely done, people are genuinely uh, required to be paid, and those payments to be made. Mr. Speaker, in that same Auditor General's report, we have a list of stalled uh, uh, construction projects or development projects in the county of Nairobi. And Mr. Speaker, you will see, we have over 12 stalled health projects, construction of health facilities at all levels of uh, uh, the healthcare system, Mr. Speaker. And it amounts to almost 1.4 billion shillings, pending bills. And I've given the example on this floor of the construction works that have stalled at our level five hospitals. If you go to Mbagadi, Mr. Speaker, there is a stalled construction project. The uh, contractor abandoned site because of non-payment uh, non of bills amounting to over 40 billion shillings. If you go to Mamalusi Hospital, the story is the same. If you go to Mutuini Hospital in Dagoreti South, the story is the same, Mr. Speaker. And if you go to Pumwani Hospital, the premier uh, facility for delivery of children in this country, the situation is the same. I heard the CS for Health yesterday saying that the monies that were owed by national government uh, to these facilities under Linda Mama program and also under NHIF had been paid. She told us to check the accounts today. As of yesterday, uh, when she finished speaking, I spoke to the CEOs of these facilities, uh, majority leader, that money has not been seen. I am also going to check with them today, yes, to see that these amounts have been paid because we need these projects to be completed. Mr. Speaker, one of the conversations that has been going on uh, with the current flooding in the country and in Nairobi in particular is the question of garbage, Mr. Speaker. We have a big problem where garbage has become a very serious menace, uh, Mr. Speaker, and it is uh, contributing to the situation that we are seeing with flooding because most of this garbage that remains uncollected in many areas ends up in our drainages and then you see people's homes flooding. I will give you the example, Mr. Speaker. We had a collection center that was opened at Umoja Inako. Mr. Speaker, that garbage was not meant to stay there at Inako. It was supposed to be collected from Inako and taken to Dandora dumping site. Since September of last year, because the contractors have abandoned their work for non-payment, Mr. Speaker, the garbage at uh, uh, Inako in Umoja has now reached the power lines. That is how high up it has been stacked. We have uh, uh, illegal dumping sites at places like Likoni Road, Mr. Speaker. And if you speak to the business people who operate in that area uh, behind Kartasi Brands, there is a place on Enterprise Road where an illegal dumping site was opened there. Mr. Speaker, all of those businesses from Enterprise Road coming all the way up to Road C to Road B, all of those places right now as we speak are flooded. People are counting very serious lo losses because of non-collection of garbage and dumping of soil on the riverbed in, uh, in that particular area of the Ngong River. Mr. Speaker, I had a conversation one time. Uh, one young contractor came to my office. He had been contracted to collect garbage. That gentleman, after receiving that contract, went to uh, suppliers of machinery, the, the backhoe loaders and, and, and the trucks, and got a loan to finance that particular project, thinking that he would be making some money and be able to pay for those uh, equipment. Mr. Speaker, by the time this guy is seeing payment, first of all, he had to abandon work. His machines were repossessed by the financiers. They were auctioned, and of course, they were auctioned at a lesser value than he bought them. And the difference between the value that he took and what they, they fetched in the market at the auction was being uh, he was being asked to pay that amount. And yet, Mr. Speaker, when you go to the county governments for this payment, we have this phenomenon where if you don't know somebody to push for you payments through the county government, nothing is going to be done. Mr. Speaker, when you go to have that conversation, this young man was in tears. You go to have a conversation and you have had allegations of people saying you cannot be paid a pending bill in these county governments if you do not agree to part with 50% of the payment. These are not stories, Mr. Speaker. This is the life of many of the contractors that are uh, in our country, and in our county in particular, Mr. Speaker. So the, the motion that has been brought by the Senator for Narok, I actually believe 
is a timely motion. And I would go a step further because some of the recommendations that he has made here. Number one, that the Senate recommends that all county governments pay verified pending bills amounting to less than Kenya shillings 1 billion by the end of this financial year and those above 1 billion by the end of the financial year 2024-2025. When I hear my counterpart from uh, Nyeri saying they have no pending bills, when I hear our friends in Baringo want to impeach their governor because of pending bills of 115 million, I just wonder where, wh 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 which, world, which world is this that Nairobi cannot live in, that we can also be at zero net pending bills, Mr. Speaker. So I support the recommendation. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I have been an advocate of ring-fencing money for pending bills, as you have heard. At the rate we are going, Mr. Speaker, if Nairobi gets 20 billion shillings every year in equitable revenue, it will take us five years. If we are doing nothing but paying pending bills, it will take us five years, five years allocation to get to 100 billion shillings in order for us to uh, clear our pending bills. So, Mr. Speaker, I do uh, agree with the recommendation here that the county governments must prioritize payment of pending bills. If those bills were being paid, the garbage collectors would be working. Mr. Speaker, I forgot to tell you that if you look at the report of the Auditor General, <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman. Pedi wa magengi. Mamba vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories anini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapa na kuchanga nya. Na uende dori. Subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa wewe finya.